Hello, this is a short unboxing video of Cobalt's new one and a quarter horsepower trim router that they sent me to review. I'll cover the specs and features. There's a lot of bang for buck here, right? So I feel like it's a pretty good fit for uh, hobbyists and small business CNC users and other woodworkers. I'll share a separate video with my observations of how the, the router actually performs as the second router on my CNC. Uh, consider checking out reviews by Ryan, Doug, Jonathan, Rob, and other V1 engineering community members. Um, video links in the description. Hope this helps. Cheers. All right, this is the new Cobalt one and a quarter horsepower trim router, 5207238, five year guarantee, limited, but still five years. This is pretty bold. 10 to 35,000 RPM, it's a nice wide range, but honestly, 10,000 RPM is pretty much what it's gonna be running at for the most of its life in my CNC, more on the CNC in a bit. Soft start and variable speed. It's got indents on there, so the, the dial's not gonna wander on you, which is a pretty nice feature. ER11 compatible, although it comes with a quarter and eighth of an inch collets, uh, being ER11 compatible means I can bring over bits from my other CNC and, and buy, a ho buy a whole host of bits at very affordable prices. Normally I'd have to pay like $20 to, to buy like an adapter. So this is a nice thing that they're just kind of throwing in. No extension cord, but still got an eight foot power cord and seven amps, honestly, more than enough power for I'm gonna be using this on. And it's not caught out here, but you know, you're not just getting the body of the router, you're also getting a bunch of accessories as well, which are gonna be super useful, not just for your traditional woodworker, but I'm seeing some things on here, some features like the, the vac tube and the plate um, that, that could be pretty cool and useful. Maybe we can do something with that on our CNC. On the back of the box, there's a whole host of information. I'm not gonna get a good picture, so I'll take a good shot and put that up now. And you know, one of the most amazing things for me personally about this is this thing right here. This is a V1 Engineering Lowrider 3, a mostly printed CNC. Half the parts here you can buy from Lowe's, the rest you print, and you can get kits for, for the, the bits that you, you need in addition to that. I love that the designers for this router uh, have been working with the V1 engineering team, working with their customers, basically. They've gone back and forth, uh, had multiple rounds, conference calls to, to come up with this, this product. I, I, I love hearing stories about designers listening closely to what their customers need, working closely with those customers to come up with great products. So I'm looking forward to this. I've got high hopes for it. And honestly, just you know, ignoring the CNC aspect, uh, there's just a lot of features in here that seem pretty useful to, to woodworkers. I have a friend, Matt, hopefully that's going to help take a look at this as well. So yeah, let's let's just get into this and, and see see what we've got. Let's, let's have, take a look. Something I didn't see called out on there, but I'm looking forward to maybe noticing is LEDs on the um, on the router to help light up your, your work area. That will be pretty cool to see. Let's get this out. You don't want to come out, do you? Sweet. There's a lot of, I don't know if that's acrylic or polycarbonate, but that's going to be great to make sure that we can see our work, our stock as we're cutting things. Uh, the accessories that come with the router, I just throw them back in the box and like, they just, I mean, that's the case for my other router. But there's so many clear parts here. I'm hopeful that we can maybe make use of some of those. Let's just get some height so we can have a good picture of everything that's in the box. Nice little package. That's not gonna break anytime soon. All in one unit. The mounts and everything are already in here. So in this bag, it looks like we have of the, the dust vac shroud and we've got one of the collets in here it looks like this is the eighth of an inch collet right there just some knobs i guess to hold things in place and yeah i mean this, this thing's pretty <laughs> rack and pinion okay that's not gonna slide out that's uh that's not gonna fall away. That's that's pretty pretty nice. You know, that could actually be a nice safety feature even on a CNC if we can make that kind of lock in place. That could help to stop the 
the router for an NRC to see if we can do something with that. That's a nice feature right there. You've got some depth gauges on the side. I mean, that's pretty sturdy. It's not going to move. That feels pretty solid. I'll have to compare that to my other router. I do like... Oh, there is a light. I believe we've got two lights on there and a quarter of an inch collet as, as well. So yeah, let's let's get this thing powered up and see uh, see how she performs.